Hey guys, I'm going to quickly go over our PT Level Wired device, um, unboxing it and setting it up, which is pretty straightforward. So, what I have here is the box, when you get it mailed to you, this is how it looks. The PT Level Wired is sitting on top, and you also have a box with all of the components that you need, which includes your power over Ethernet cord, your uh, tubing clamps, and finally the power supply that powers the device itself. Then we have the device here, which is connected to this tubing. You pull it out here and it's all wrapped up. Um, in your case, uh, you may need to cut that tubing to length, which we recommend cutting to the exact length, and you're totally okay to do that. But just untape those, I'm not going to do that in this video. Finally, you have your, what we call the pressure chamber, and uh, this is the part that sinks down to the bottom of the tank. And your instructions are just back here. I'd recommend following those. But in either way, I'm going to show you quickly how this thing gets connected up. So, when you have your tubing, you cut this to length as explained before. You can heat up this end a little bit. But what you want to do is open up this and get the clamp out. Put the clamp on first, and then the bushing. Push it onto the barb, push the bushing on, and clamp it. All of this is illustrated in the instructions very well. Um, and then finally, what we need, we have the Ethernet port here. This is a vent for the enclosure for proper function of the device. Uh, if you want to enclose this device inside another enclosure, you can, but you have to make sure that that enclosure is also well vented, because if not, then your readings will be pretty sporadic. Uh, so with the Ethernet connection, you run your cable from your home router, which is what this is, uh, outside to your system where this device is installed. You connect that cable into here, and I have a cable here just as an example. This would be your long cable, either buried or however you run it. You connect it in directly to the PT level device. When you install this thing, uh, you want to make sure that it's not sitting up so the water gets in the connection. You want to either have it like this, or if it's flat, that's fine too. And then another uh, way, a good assurance is to have a drip loop like this somewhere so that water won't run in on the cable into the connection there. So once you have that connected, then you go in on your home where your router is or access point or however it works with your network. But uh, you take your power over ethernet piece here, you connect this other end of the cable into that. Then you take this end, the male end of the power over ethernet connector, and you connect it into your router or access point, just like that, right into the LAN port. This has to have an internet connection for it to function properly. If you don't have an internet connection, then this won't work in the, the basic manner. This, the, the final thing you connect is your power supply. You plug it into a power bar or a power source, and you connect this part of the power over ethernet cable just like that which will then power this device one thing to note uh, since that's the that's it for the installation there are just like on any ethernet device two leds on the bottom of the pt level wired and once you have it powered on and fully connected you should see an always on orange light and the green light will blink uh, every once in a while indicating network traffic and that means it's successfully connected. Finally there is a ID right on the top of the device and also in your instructions. That is what you use uh, to proceed connecting this device uh, to your account at www.ptdevices.com and that is all for now. Thanks for watching.